953-954. We've got Luis Sessa in the red, Seth Lugo in the Padres. It's another one, look, minus 280. The Padres are huge favorites today, plus 230 for the Reds. Total sitting at nine, juice to the under at minus 120. You can go over at even money. And this is, again, where I have Sessa, Jason, profiling as bad as a pitcher can profile. Uh, we're looking at a 1062 weighted OPS. The projected lineup in 28 career at-bats does have 10 hits for a 357 average. We know that Reds bullpen, not very good. Although neither has the Padres. The Padres bullpen's been disappointing too. The Reds have actually been just a little bit better. But I'm locking in on the Padres to do. I think I think Lugo's a lot better than Sessa. What do you think, Reds Padres? It's a little heavy price wise, <clears throat> but the Reds mm-hmm. got the win last night. Played extra played extra innings, excuse me. I think uh asking the Reds to get two wins in a row is a bit much. <laughs> it is. Especially with Luis Sessa on the mound, right? I just, I mean, he profiles so poorly. The he really is. But. He's one of the worst rated starters in baseball, and they just, they, they, yeah. they have no depth. That's, it's just going around baseball. Like you even see it with teams like the Astros right now, and then the Dodgers calling up Gavin Stone from AAA. Like, like teams are just struggling to fill five starting pitcher spots on a on a weekly basis. You know, Astros had two guys go out this week. It's just, it's going around baseball, and we haven't even got to the busy season yet. Yeah, and some guys coming back. Verlander and Scherzer are coming back. But then you have other guys heading back to the DL. A lot there, there has been. It seems like the injuries are more prevalent this year. I'm not exactly sure if that's true or if I'm just noticing it more. Oh but, no, it's, uh, it's the injuries are up a bunch. That's it. Just yeah. Every time I look, I'm like Jesus. I just especially baseball. I mean, Cal Ripken played every day for like 20 some years. What what is happening to these guys? What are you doing on the baseball field besides getting hit in the face by a ball? We are getting hurt so badly. But Corby Reds Padres. You see the big favorite. Again, I think I got a decent number on the double result here. I expect the Padres to be up after five, and then we see better arms for the Padres and the Reds. What do you think here? Am I crazy? Are we barking at the dog, or should I feel okay about the Padres as well? Yeah, I've faded this Reds offense for for quite some time now. So a fade of their offense plus that's on the, on the mound. And it's an expensive price to play in any traditional sense, but the way that you played, I think you're getting a good price. We talked about it on a show a few days ago, but I, I just think that like with these really large favorites, the, the correlation to being up through five and then winning the game uh, isn't priced in enough, probably. It just seems – I need to go through and do the math. I still have not done that. But it just feels like a team that is projected to win this much, and uh, th- in most cases, they're up through five. And so uh, mm-hmm. and I think you're getting a good price to action, and that's the only important part of it, all of this. I mean, Sessa is in the first percentile of every single major stat. Like, uh, expected batting average, strikeout r- rate, whiff rate, expected slugging. Like, he is the worst in all of them. So, um, it's not a bad spot to be sitting in on a, on a decent price by any means. Let me say some nice things about Luis Sessa so I don't jinx it like I did Kopech yesterday and turn him into the best pitcher in baseball. Luis Sessa, I heard, is a fantastic family man. His mother loves him. Always <laughs> helpful, cleaning up at Thanksgiving. Great young man. Uh, just might struggle a little bit against the Padres lineup today. But, you know, it's the theory. I know the Padres' bullpen struggled a little bit. The Reds have actually been a little bit better overall as a team with their bullpen, which you wouldn't expect. But, again, I expect a Lugo profiles beautifully, by the way. It's the largest discrepancy on the card today in terms of weighted OPS. He's at 667 to 1062. He has shown some leaks, but I think he's got better stuff, considerably better stuff than Lugo does. Profiles better. So if I have the Padres up after five innings, are the Reds going to be bringing their best arms out, trying to come from behind? I don't think you see that. While the Padres are going to try to sustain that lead, bring out better arms out of the bullpen. So I'm locking in the Padres' double result, taking a minus 280 favorite here to go post-to-post first five full-time at minus 120, locking that in. Padres' double result, buying that $1.60 there on the Padres. 